Hello, today is Saturday in the third week of Lent on our journey through Lent to Easter. And today we hear about comparisons. We have the story of the public sinner and the Pharisee in the temple, and they're both there to pray. But we hear about the Pharisee who looks down at this tax collector and says, oh, geez, I thank God I'm not like him. You know, and it leads me to think about comparisons. You know, it's my thinking, at least, that, you know, we tend to begin comparing ourselves to one another in later childhood, and it grows through our adolescence, and we do that through most of our life and sometimes through all of our life. We compare ourselves to other people. And I remember an epigram that I learned in high school, an old Latin saying that went in English, all comparisons are odious. That was the way I learned it. But it means all comparisons are hateful. And that's an interesting thought. Because when I compare myself to another person, I'm only comparing part of myself. Well, that person is shorter than I am. That person is better looking than I am. That person has less hair. Than... Really, does it matter? Because we're never comparing our total self to the total other because we don't know the total other. Sometimes we aren't even sure we know our total self. So all comparisons are odious. I either despise them if they come off better or I despise them if they come off worse. The only thing that really matters, my sisters and brothers, the only thing, the only comparison that God makes is, is Dave Howell a better man today than he was 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago? Is Dave Howell becoming that better person that he knows he could be? In the end, the only comparison that matters, my sisters and brothers, is how we compare ourselves to ourselves. The invitation of Lent is to look again at how we could become better human beings, how we become more faithful disciples of the Lord Jesus, how we become more loving people, children of the kingdom of God. Where can I become better compared to what I used to be? In the end, that's what God calls us to this Lent. And so maybe this week, this coming week, I can reflect on how I compare to the person of the past and how I can grow to become that person I compare myself to in the future that I know I could be. Oh, that makes for a growth-filled journey to Easter. God bless you.